So, hello there, and welcome to video number two in the Homebrew Z80 computer series. Um, now being filmed on a much better camera. Um, so, uh, as you can see in front of me, uh, this is the progress I've made on the board so far. Um, the wires you can see are just the address bus between the... Um, actual computer chip which is this uh, socket here and uh, the ROM and the RAM these two sockets uh, and then these are uh, actually sockets for the um, glue logic chips uh, and I'm gonna have five LEDs on the data bus just so you can see it kind of doing a few things um, so it's going well so far I don't have a lot of time to work on it because I'm rather busy, busy at the moment but um, yeah no it's going uh, really well so far um, so that's the uh, kind of component side uh, and this is just the solder side at the moment um, now I need to uh, uh, kind of scrape out the um, center of some of the underneath these chips here so that there aren't connections obviously as this is strip board um, but uh, once I've done that uh, and scraped out any other places then it'll be fully functional uh, once all the other wiring is done uh, so it's going really well so far, um, and uh, at the moment I'm really happy with it. Hope, hopefully it will be functional um, when it's done. Um, when the build is fully completed, uh, I'll talk about any changes that have been made along the way. There have been some really helpful comments talking about uh, what may or may not need to be changed and uh, what I could um, run with it. I may try... Um, the operating system CP slash M with it as well uh, when uh, the system gets a little bit more advanced but for now we're just trying to get a baseboard and uh, even try and mess around with just plugging in straight um, binary into the um, into the RAM uh, using switches which will be uh, which will be cool um, so yeah that's the uh, kind of project board at the moment uh, so I have made a bit of progress on that, uh, but the main point of this video uh, was to show you uh, the components uh, that have all come through um, and to show you wh what I've used and uh, what it all looks like and how it's all going to work. So um, I'll just get those now. So the first chip you can see here is our RAM. Uh, this is um, just uh, 32 kilobytes of RAM in a... a dip package it's uh, I believe roughly 10 millimeters in thickness or 10.32 or something uh, so it needs a slightly wider uh, socket uh, which I had to order in uh, I actually need to order in more sockets because uh, I'm missing a few things that I need uh, unfortunately but that's fine uh, I will get onto that uh, but there's plenty of stuff to be doing in the meantime so that's the RAM we then have the 74LS139 uh, IC and this is actually the uh, decoder uh, multiplexer IC for the uh, memory and the uh, I.O. controllers so this essentially dictates when uh, those chips are enabled or disabled oops so that's that there just a small uh, normal form factor dip package We then have two of the 74LS04 uh, inverter ICs that will be used to just invert the logic signals when when necessary. Um, you can actually see those on the schematic in several different places like uh, there on the uh, clock for example. Then in here we have the 74LS244 uh, input controller IC so uh, this is what's going to be uh, loading in the input data and uh, holding it until the uh, CPU requests it again standard form factor dip package and finally we have the EEPROM ICs uh, so this is what we're going to be flashing with our BIOS uh, that will uh, be running a C compiler of some sorts or basic compiler or whatever uh, so the, those are our EEPROMs uh, again the uh, slightly thicker uh, 10 point 
three two millimeter uh, dip package or something close to that. So unfortunately, a much shorter video there. Uh, I didn't really, I don't really have much to uh, say right now. Just a little update on what uh, I have and don't have, and what's arrived. Um, I will order in the rest of the parts that I need uh, fairly soon, uh, and uh, finish wiring up the rest of this, which uh, shouldn't take me too long. Uh, it's a bit of a task, but um, it shouldn't take me ages. Uh, and then uh, we'll. Um, finish up this uh, part of the system. Uh, the next video uh, is probably going to uh, be a video on the uh, custom programmer for the uh, ROM chips. Uh, so I'll uh, make a video uh, of me uh, actually soldering up the board or something and uh, also explaining how it works and uh, what we're going to be doing with it. Um, so I will uh, see you then in the next video.